So knowledge-based articles were enhanced um, a few versions ago. Um, I think it was in CRM 2016. Um, and if you use them through the uh, unified interface, you'll be using this enhanced knowledge-based article. There it was and still is a legacy-based knowledge-based article. I wouldn't recommend that you use that, if, especially if you're setting them up from scratch here. Um, so just make sure that you are going into the unified interface to set them up. But basically, knowledge-based articles um, will, will help your internal people solve issues and answer customer questions or issues with these articles. Um, they can be used on different entities. So, of course, cases is going to be the most common one, but you can use them on different entities. You could have a knowledge-based article on how to enter a quote in CRM, and then your internal people could answer their own questions on how there's kind of complex things going on with your quoting. You, they could look up knowledge-based articles. <clears throat> there is a full kind of publishing process. So the concept here is may, I might allow all my customer service reps to create knowledge-based articles, but they need to be approved and published before they're available to all of our customer service agents, as well as maybe external people that might be viewing these articles like on a customer service portal. Um, while you're entering a case or whatever record you associate a knowledge base with, um, it will come up with article suggestions. So for example, maybe based off the case title, it will then say, hey, I found an article that might help you solve this case. Um, so that's a, a nice feature. Um, you can also kind of browse the articles while you're right in the middle of a case. And then again, while you're on the case record, you can easily email these articles to the clients or to your internal users. This uh, slide here just talks a little bit about the publishing process or the, the kind of the process that goes through from creating an article. So again, you might have anybody create an article in the upper left-hand corner there, uh, but that article then would be in draft mode. And then somebody would review that article, maybe update it. They can reject the article, which then can go back to that initial user. The initial user might get an email or they might have a view of articles that got rejected. They'll maybe edit it, put it back into review mode, and then maybe a manager is approving that. But in the end, they are then going to um, publish that article, which basically means it's available for other users to see. So again, remember to use the new unified client interface when you're creating these articles. Um, you can build text just in Word and then paste that into the article. You can also use some other type of HTML L tool. So if you want your article, especially if you're gonna be emailing these out to maybe clients, uh, you might wanna kind of pretty them up with logos and images and things like that. So you can build the text in an HTML tool and paste that into the article. And then remember that there is a process for basically creating the article. It goes from draft to approved to published. So let's flip into uh, dynamics again here. <clears throat> and remember using new unified interface. So on the uh, left-hand menu here, there's a knowledge article area. And we're just gonna look at one here, but uh, you would create a new one here you notice that we have different statuses. So some are in draft mode waiting to be approved by a manager. This one here is in approved mode, but hasn't been published yet. And then of course we have many published articles here, but we'll just look at one again. I don't think you're gonna be <laughs> not too overwhelming here, but basically the article is gonna have a title. Um, you're gonna then put in keywords and that's gonna help your users to find articles based on these keywords. So when they're on a case record, they can type in these keywords. These keywords are also used for that, I don't know if you remember a slide or two back, but CRM will suggest articles to the users while they're on the middle of a case. So if one of these keywords was like in the case title, it would then suggest that article, okay? Then you just give it a little bit more of an internal description. <clears throat> and then the content of the article is gonna be right down here. So this is a, if you were to email this out, this is what would be emailed out. This is not a pretty one. This is a terrible example to show you. I got a better one on my slide deck here, but um, it's because you can pretty them up and you know, use different formatting and that kind of thing. 
Um, and then you can have notes, internal notes against this article. You'll notice there's a business process flow ribbon on this. And that's to just kind of help your users since there is a process to publish these articles. Again, it goes from draft to approved to published. This kind of uh, can keep track of where we are at in the process of creating the article. So in the author mode here, the author stage, we wanna make sure that we're getting our keywords in, um, choosing a subject for the article um, and assign who the author is. We can then move this to the next stage, which would then go to the review stage, which the review stage is basically means is it been approved or not approved? And then eventually we just go to the publish stage. Since this is just a business process flow ribbon, this can be configured for your company. Maybe your process to publish an article might be a little bit different. There may be different steps to go into that. They can be changed. Um, this one is probably the out of the box one. And I, I don't think that we're really using that internally at Stone Ridge. Yeah, we are forced to enter, you know, create them and we have to approve them and we have to publish them. Um, but that can be done um, right on the top ribbon up here. Those buttons don't show here because this article is a already a published article. So I can create a different version of this article, but um, the buttons for like approving and publishing are hidden because this, this article is already published. So they're pretty easy to create. Um, let's go back to our uh, PowerPoint here. So this is an example one where you see it, it does look a little bit better in the body of the email here. At least I've got some formatting going on. You can also put URL links in here. Um, and again, you can uh, do HTML designing work. You can also preview the article here, see what it would actually look like, like I got on an email. This is actually how they're used on a case. Um, so this is just a print screen, but this is a case record here. And in the middle area is we have the knowledge base showing up here. So basically, I don't know if you can kind of see, I'll just kind of point with my mouse here, but um, we have the subject of the email um, is maintenance. Well, what's happening is it's going out and find, found a keyword in my articles called maintenance. Granted, it's a pretty simple example, or you can type in a keyword like, hey, they're calling about something with an online issue. Um, so I typed in the word online here and it's coming up with an, a suggested article. Okay, um, it might be more than one suggested article. I can view these articles right here um, and it actually will tell me how many times this article has been viewed by other service agents. So if this is, says zero, which it does, this may not be probably a very great article since nobody else has ever even viewed this article. So sometimes that's helpful to see how many times this article has been viewed. And then basically you can link this article to this case record and say, yep, this is the article I used to solve this case. The beauty behind that is later on, I'll be able to do some metrics and saying, hey, how many times has each article solved a case? Or what's our most popular article that solves a case? You'd be able to do that and then maybe use some of that content like on your website or in a blog article or something like that. A lot of people are calling in about this particular issue. We use this article all the time to solve an issue. We might wanna put a blog out about that particular issue. So you can do some analytics on your articles and how many times they have been used.